Hey everyone, this is Drew Wilson. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Fireft, how it works, and what it can do for you. Fireft is a template-independent content management system, meaning it only manages your content and leaves the design to you. There are no templating languages in Fireft. Once you code your website design into HTML and CSS, you're done. Fireft is also a client-side CMS, meaning you get to work with your data in JavaScript rather than a server-side language like PHP. To do this, Fireft uses Titan, an open source JavaScript web framework that we have created. So let me explain how this all works. Now typically, when you start a new web development project, you start with a design, your PSD, or Photoshop document. And from there, you code that into HTML and CSS. And once you have the HTML and CSS, you're on the lookout for a content management system, something you think that will work with your web design. Now, unfortunately, all the content management systems out there now have some sort of templating architecture or language and you end up having to hack up your HTML and CSS just to fit it in with their structure, which can end up adding a ton to development time and limit your creativity. So what if you didn't have to do that? What if once you design and then you do your HTML and CSS, you are totally finished? Well, that's exactly how Fireft works. So let's look at adding content to Fireft. You would start with your content, your text, your video, your images, and then you would put those into the Fireft application. And the Fireft application is essentially a JSON server. Fireft will take all your content and turn it into JSON. Now that you have all your data accessible in JSON, you can interface with it using JavaScript. This can be difficult to set up on your own, which is exactly why we created Titan. Titan will do this automatically for you. It will automatically interface with the JSON and give you the JSON data in an easy to use format. Titan will take the content from Fireft and put it into your HTML elements. It does this either through specialized CSS class names or JavaScript or a mixture of both. And since Titan is based in jQuery, it's even easier to develop with. So as you can see, the development process is extremely easy with Fireft. You can literally build a fully custom and dynamic website in just minutes since you're only adding CSS class names to your HTML. So now that you have a glimpse of how to develop with Fireft, Let's take a quick look at how you can manage your content with Fireft. Now once you log into the system, you'll be presented with a dashboard that shows you what's been happening recently on the system and gives you useful links and stats about the system. And since Fireft is multi-user, you'll be able to see updates from other users on the system here. So let's take a look at the Galleries section. Right here you can see the different galleries inside of the different categories. You can sort these galleries, and you can add new ones. Let's go ahead and add a new gallery category. And we'll save that. And then we can add a gallery into this category. There's various options you can give it, but we'll go ahead and save. Back to the manager view. and you can see the gallery shows up right here. So let's go ahead and look at what it looks like to edit a gallery. So you can see all the images here in this gallery and you can sort them drag and drop. You can even view them in a list view and sort them that way. If we edit one of the images, you can change the information about that image. You can even re-upload the image, or change the date, give it a caption, or set it as the gallery's cover image. There's a ton more cool features to the galleries, but let's move on to the blog section. Let's try adding a blog to this category called Business. So right here we'll give it a title. You can see the category selected is business, and we can enter in a message. And you can even add in images really easily using the media browser here. So let's go ahead and choose one of the galleries. 
one we were just looking at. You can preview the images by clicking them. And we can go ahead and say add this one and it will automatically add it in here. And if we do a quick preview, you'll see the blog post that we have going so far. Hold down the shift button when you add an image. It will add it in wrapped in a link. So now this image will be a link, as you can see. As I said before, the galleries also support embed codes. So we can go over to a different gallery. And right here is an embedded video. This is a fire commercial on Vimeo. So we go ahead and add that in just with a click of the button. Hit the preview, and you'll see there it is right here, the Vimeo video. So we'll go ahead and leave commenting on, publish it, hit save, and it has been saved, and we can view it out in the manager view now. We go into the business section, here it is, my new post, and we can preview it from here. Another great feature of FireArt is the data section. The data section is essentially a visual interface for an actual database. So you can go ahead and create data sets, which are like data tables that have many data fields and data records inside of them. So let's go ahead and add another data set. We'll give it a name, and we'll add a field here. Say this one's a text input, add another field, and this one's also a text input. Hit save, and we'll be added right here. You can then add a record, and we'll hit save. Now that's been saved to the my music data set right here. You can also use the data section to store information sent from your actual public website. So if you were to create a form on your public website that people would submit to, you can store that information here. So all you would have to do is set up another data set, call it uh, submissions, and we'll say uh, people give us their name, email, and a message. Hit save. Now all you would have to do is set up your website on the front end to have the form submit to the API with FireRift and anytime someone submits something in that form it would show up here in this list. So the data section is very powerful and very flexible. So let's take a look at another cool feature of FireRift called Livestream. Your live stream is essentially many streams from across the web from external services combined into one single stream that is ordered chronologically. And you can see that here. So you can add various external streams such as Twitter, YouTube, or Vimeo. You can add Fire blogs or galleries or any other valid RSS or Atom feed. And it will all be merged into one single live stream. Now this can be used on the front end of your website to power a new and cool kind of blog called a live stream. So let's go ahead and add a gallery. We'll publish it. Hit save. As you can see, all the images from it right, show up right here. And they're all put into my live stream at the beginning because they are the most recently updated. I'd also like to show you another cool feature of FireF called custom branding and what you can do is you can take this FireF application and brand it in any manner you choose so we could choose a custom brand logo and then we can also choose a custom color and this will change this banner up here we can even give the application title a custom name so it only appears FireRift. You can remove the copyright and change the help and support link down here. We'll just change these for now. Hit save, refresh, 
And as you can see, the brain is now totally different. So that was a quick look at the fire of admin. Thanks so much for watching, and you can see more videos on the screencast page at www.fireif.com. And for a limited time, Fireif is just $49, so head over to Fireif.com to get your copy today.